Hi, I'm Sean. This is the Stages Cycling Workshop, and it's also my garage. This is where we're going to talk about the Stages Cycling products, including the Stages Dash GPS Cycling Computers, Stages Power Meters, and the Stages Bike SB20 Smart Bike. Let's get started. Today we're here in the workshop talking about five things that make the Stages Dash M50 and L50 GPS cycling computers different and better than the competition. When we started working on the Stages Dash cycling computers, we set out from the beginning to make something truly different from the competition. We wanted to make a computer that's brighter, simpler, and smarter than the competition, and solves a lot of real world problems that cyclists have and provides a better experience than what's currently out there. To start, we built Dash to have a super simple, intuitive setup process right out of the box. You pull the Dash out of the box, you power it up, you download the Stages Link app for your phone, and then there's a QR code to scan on the Dash, and from there, the app does everything else. You can set up settings, enter user data, and then also configure screens, custom profiles, and set the Dash up exactly how you want it, and then hit sync in the app, and you're good to go. The dash screen is brighter. This is the first thing most people notice whenever they take a dash out and power it on. The reason why it's brighter is that it's made differently than other products that's out there. Without going too much into the technical details, we're able to run this kind of brightness in a full color, high definition screen for up to 12 hours, including the use of maps and courses and a paired sensor. Most of the competitive product out there can't do that. Let's talk about maps. Now maps are nothing new for a GPS cycling computer, but the way that Stages does maps is new. We built our maps on open street maps and that allows us to use cycling specific tags and make the first GPS computer that really is cycling specific in terms of what it shows the rider. Color coded bike routes, color coded bike paths, specific cycling tags for bike shops, coffee shops, pubs, places that you might find relevant on route. And all of this is something that allows you to see where you want to ride, even if you don't necessarily know an area. You can use any GPX file, any FIT file, and get turn-by-turn -turn notifications and an elevation profile at the bottom of the screen. You can also configure notifications so you see exactly what you want, when you want. We really focused on making the maps the best tool available for exploring. Not just knowing where you're going and following a course or a route, but really Dash is great if you don't know where you want to go and if you want to find someplace new to ride and you haven't been someplace before. And it's also a worthy point to mention that Dash maps are free worldwide. At Stages Cycling, we have Olympic level coaches. We have former domestic road racing pros. We have a number of world champions and national champions, and that's just the employees. That's not even getting into our roster of professional athletes that have helped us develop Dash and make it the most powerful training tool currently available. We use the color screen of Dash to our advantage when it comes to training features in a number of ways. Your zones, whether they're based on heart rate or power, are color coded, so you can see exactly how hard you're going at a glance without having to know your numbers. When it comes to workout files, we have a number of preset workouts built into the Dash, and you can also import workouts of your own from a number of third-party apps, including our own Stages link. When setting up for workouts and training, the user has a ton of options. You can build specific workout screens that show a wide range of things, including current step, next step, duration, your targets, you can have notifications that show what's coming up or the specific name of that interval. And then we also have a workout graph on the bottom of the screen or anywhere else you'd like to configure it that'll show you the entire workout in a color-coded graph so you see exactly what's coming up next. That workout graph will also plot in real time exactly where your power is versus the graph so you can know how closely you're complying to the workout. But everyone works out a little bit differently. And whilst we have a lot of features built into Dash for the advanced and serious athlete, we also have features for Dash that really make it the ideal training partner for someone who's new to training. We have adaptive zones, which allows you to start riding, never know what an FTP test is, never know what your zones are, and Dash will build that out for you based on your rider history. So after a couple of rides with some of the preset workouts, Dash will continue to evolve as you get stronger and tailor your workouts appropriately. It's the only computer out there that allows a rider who knows nothing about training to get started and to get stronger without really having to educate themselves and become their own coach. Dash will do that for you. 
A cycling computer is more than just a collection of its features. It's the experience you have with it every day when you're riding and interacting with it. And Dash is smarter. There's a number of details that we programmed into this thing to make it easier to use on a day-by-day -day basis in just little ways. For example, if there's a data field that's showing something that you don't want to see that day and you'd like to change it for something else, you can customize your screen right from the dash as you're rolling down the road at 20 miles an hour. You don't have to stop. You can do it with one finger. You don't have to pause your ride file. And that's not something that every computer allows you to do. There's also a function that allows at the tap of the lap button to get a quick snapshot of what your lap data was in the previous lap. Your average speed, your average power, the lap duration, it's something that pops up in the bottom left corner and then goes away. It's just another way for you to see your data. There's also a number of short button presses that allow you to access key features in Dash at any given point. You can hold the select button down and you can do such things as take a snapshot of the screen, you can quickly adjust screen brightness, you can get into menu functions and go into deeper setting changes. You can also snooze your phone notifications. Oh yeah, Dash will definitely take all of your phone notifications, whether it's text or updates from Facebook or updates from the New York Times, and display those on, their, on the screen if you want them. If you're getting too many of those texts, like I said, you can quickly snooze those features. Thanks for watching. There's going to be more videos featuring the Stages Dash, Stages Power Meters, and the Stages Bike SB20 Smart Bike coming soon, so be sure to come back and watch for what's coming up next.